on YouTube. Welcome to episode 46 of the USS Cerrado tutorial. I'm Zero Elite, and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Today we got kind of a short one, only about 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to be making, uh, well, actually doing some practice for our um, holodeck. And uh, I wanted to take a moment to do this because I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty simple build, but at the end of the day I haven't seen anybody do it on Minecraft. Now, um, there is going to be one slight exception with my build, it's actually one block off, but um, all things considered, it looks great, it's literally just going to be one block off, and that's just literally due to the size of the room that I chose, or the area that I chose to build this in. Uh, right now we are in the front end of the saucer on the Cerritos in the main front corridor almost all the way down on the right hand side so we haven't gone down as far to hit our second circular corridor we're literally right before it and uh, I've just cut out some spacing on each side because we're gonna have two uh, holodecks I'm only gonna be building one out because the other one um, this was just something I threw together in a couple of minutes. This isn't necessarily something I'm going to have to necessarily do a tutorial with. Um, so without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. And you can see here that I'm trying to space out the size of my room. And I'm making sure that there is two dividers in the middle and we're doing three blocks on each side. Now we're just going to build out a grid here and we're just going to be swapping out between the black concrete and the yellow concrete. Now there's a wrong way to do this because I'm not going to lie, I did uh, my first attempt that I had built off camera to test this out. I had actually made a mistake on this when I was building it and long story short I basically built it in a checkered pattern. Um, whereas uh, excuse me, whereas the actual uh, holodeck should be on a grid pattern. And some people might be saying, oh, there's no difference between checker pattern and a grid. I hate to break it to you, there is totally a difference between the two. So we're going to build this off of a grid pattern. So we're just going to be building rows out of yellow concrete going in straight lines. Now, while this is not going to be perfect, to how the holodecks look like on the Enterprise D, I think this is probably going to be about as close as you can more than likely get it. Unless you make the room really, really, really big, so this way these lines look smaller. But all things considered, I don't think this is a, a bad uh, design. And I wanted to do it enough to, to uh, make a tutorial on it. Um, We've got a couple of things left to do on the Cerritos before we wrap this thing up. I've actually had a ton of uh, people commenting and uh, checking out my latest uh, video, the teaser for the Enterprise D. I just want to thank everybody very much, everyone that tuned into that video, all the positive feedback. just want to thank you all very much for that. Um, but I do want to throw a disclaimer out with that. That is not the finished Enterprise D. And there are... Uh, there's not actually a ton of detail on that ship yet. You guys really won't understand why until we actually get in the, the tutorial for it. Um, but this thing's, uh, the Enterprise D is going to be a monster. I mean, you could literally fit the Cerritos inside the saucer section. That's how big this thing is. And I basically have spent a week rendering this thing. And that's not getting on Minecraft every day, putting it, you know, from the time I wake up to the time I... Uh, go to bed no but there's still several hours that i've put into it upon hours upon hours and um, it was a pretty challenging build to do in itself um, i think it's going to be a lot of fun when i get into that because i've kind of spoiled you guys a little bit with uh, my disco enterprise and even a little bit with the serratos but maybe not so much with the serratos but specifically like on my enterprise because you guys got the best of both worlds with that. You didn't have to basically go through the mistakes that I went through to get there. Um, because I had experience of building, you know, four other constitution classes in the past. Um, the Serratos was a little bit different, but there were some areas there where they were similar enough where I had that experience. 
Enterprise D is a completely different animal. Um, the angle of the saucer and the neck were specifically two areas that took the most time to render on that ship. And, um, I mean, what else can I say? I'm really looking forward to uh, getting that out, but I'm not going to be starting the Enterprise D until the outside has been completed. So this way I have enough material to go off of so I can start building out the interior and I don't catch up with myself. Um, but, you know, I kind of, I was working on it pretty much. Um, I had a two week period where I was going to have a lot more time on my hands and I kind of made the decision like, okay, there's a couple of things I want to get done in this period of time. And uh, some of the things on that list was the, uh, finishing the Cerritos and uh, starting the Enterprise D. And I was surprised with how much of it I was able to get done in relatively a short period of time. Um, that video I posted last night was pretty much the progress I was at uh, up until last night. I've worked on a, a little bit this evening. I got some stuff done, but um, it'll still it'll be a little bit before we start getting that tutorial out because I still have to. Um, I haven't even finished building out the saucer on that ship yet. Um, it was literally what you guys saw in the teaser yesterday was just a shell of it. Um, and if you didn't see it, go back and watch the video. You'll see that the actual center of the, the saucer is pretty much hollow. Um, it doesn't have a top or bottom on it. Uh, just uh, going along the edges and then the, the bottom uh, inner dish, I built that part out. But other than that, you know, it's uh, completely hollow. So it's completely devo devoid of details. And there's some other things that I just have not built on it yet. Um, I think the last thing I actually got done on the Enterprise D was the general outline for the engines, but uh, still there's a ton of work to do there. There's a few areas I haven't even built on it yet. I'm still working on both the front, the back, the top, and bottom of uh, the engines. Uh, I still have more work to do on the neck. Um, I'll say hands down, the neck was the hardest part on this build. Now, uh, on the uh, uh, Enterprise D anyway, but what was cool is, is that there was a little bit from the mock tutorial of the Enterprise D that I was able to bring over. And uh, when we start that tutorial, you guys will see what I mean. For those of you that uh, watched the mock tutorial for the Enterprise D. Um, but uh, even where it's at today, it looks uh, the neck looks uh, a lot cleaner than where it was last night. Because I did a little bit more work after I uh, posted that video last night. And then, like I said, I got a little bit more done uh, this evening tonight. And I finally hit more of a break on. I was able to do more of what I wanted because basically what was happening was that, and you can see it when you watch the video, is that there are two different pieces that I used to build the neck. And it was really a question of getting those two pieces to merge together and blend them in together. And the reason I did it that way is because originally I started off with the top piece, but I wasn't able to get it to curve down the way that it was necessary. So I was forced to build a bottom piece for the remainder of the front portion of the neck but then i was having the issues with it transitioning inward like the neck uh, would and what happened was that my neck ended up being a lot thicker than it uh, was supposed to be and it kind of had like a weird uh, triangle shape going along the sides of it um i got about like 90 percent of that fixed um, I'm going to wait to post a, another video of the Enterprise D. You guys probably won't see uh, anything else on it unless we happen to pass by it when we're building the Cerritos. But um, I plan, you know, at this point that uh, the next time you see anything on the Enterprise D is when that tutorial is going to be coming out. But I wanted to get that out regardless just so uh, because I've had a ton of people ask me for that build. That is my number one request that I've had on YouTube is the Enterprise D. And I can see why it is a hard ship to build. Um, anybody that will tell you otherwise, um, with all due respect, they're full of it. Um, that is not an easy ship to build by any means. I think any skilled builder will have a tough time building that ship out perfect. And I won't say that mine's perfect, but by the time it's done, it's going to be pretty close. Uh, so definitely stick around for that. We're kind of winding down here on the... Uh, Cerritos. Uh, I've kind of been talking about other things over this episode, but what we're doing right now is pretty self-explanatory. You know, we're literally just building a grid pattern. Um, I wanted to get this out because I think that um, I'm honestly surprised that nobody's done this on Minecraft. And I don't understand why, because um, it looks just like, um, or as close as you can make it to looking like uh, the holodeck on the Enterprise D, which I feel that the Cerritos more than likely the uh, 
holodeck would look the same on that ship. But, you know, this was a very simple pattern. I'm pretty happy with it. I uh, hope everybody likes this as well. If you did enjoy uh, this even being as simple as it was, let me know in the comments section. But there's uh, going to be some other cool things to come on the Serratos, touching back on that. Uh, we still have to build out the uh, actual uh, conference room uh, where uh, the officers are going to go to have their meetings and whatnot. And then we also need uh, the captain's ready room. I'm going to be building that as well. Um, I don't know how much else I'm going to be building live on the Serratos. Um, my reason for that is because I haven't had a ton of people ask me for stuff. Um, so I don't want to necessarily overstay the welcome on the Cerritos, but at the same time, I do want to get content out. So basically what I'm saying is that there's anything that you would like to see me do on the Cerritos that I have not done yet. Um, that could be, you could even say, hey, I want to see the uh, captain's ready room, or hey, I want to see the conference room. And if I said that, hey, let me know, because then I know that, hey, I need to make a tutorial on that. If you want to see, um, like, uh, 10 forward, I don't think it, it wasn't called 10 Ford on the Serratos. Uh, that was Enterprise D, but it's the, basically the bar where they go to hang out. If you want to see that room, let me know in the comments section. Any room that you want to see on the Serratos, now's the time to ask me while I'm working on it. Because as we wind down more, more of my attention is going to be going over the Enterprise D. So definitely keep that in mind. But I think that's going to wrap us up today. Just kind of a short one in and out. Um, I definitely want to get some videos out today. Um, we had a... Uh, the teaser for the Enterprise D dropped yesterday, which was cool. And uh, throughout the rest of this week, we'll be getting out the episodes on, uh, I know for certain, the conference room and then uh, the uh, captain's ready room. And maybe I might even do a couple of crew quarters or mess hall. But uh, I've already done those on other t uh, on uh, the Disco Enterprise. So if that's not something you want to see and there's something else, let me know. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in to today's episode. Uh, if you did enjoy this content, if you could help me out and hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel, I definitely appreciate that. And uh, speaking of uh, new subscribers, uh, uh, don't forget to hit your notifications on so you always get notified when those new videos drop. And uh, you can always actually catch my new uh, YouTube videos dropping uh, Mondays for Starship Evo and Tuesdays through Fridays for Minecraft and those videos on YouTube drop at 10 a.m. Eastern. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I just want to thank you all again. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week and I'll catch you on the next episode.